Good morning, students! So, before we start our activity for today, let us first all stand. And may I request may Mary to lead a prayer. So, let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord as we pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us, do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, how's your day? That's great. Now, who wants to feel energized? So, let us have some energizers. So, let us all stand up. Right. Now, this energizer is entitled... Rain, rain, go away. Is it familiar to you guys? That's great. So, it's familiar to you. So, let's start. Follow my dance and action. Okay? So, let's begin. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little children wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Once more. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little children wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. All right. So you can now, I, before you take your seats, kindly pick up the pieces of papers under your chairs and arrange your chairs properly. Now, let's start our lesson for the day. So, are you ready? That's great. So, what have you noticed on our energizer? Yes, very good, Mimi. I will give you a very good start. So, you notice we sing rain, rain, go away. So, Rain, rain, go away is somehow related to our topic. So, it is one of our topics. So, who else have an idea? If you want to answer, please raise your right hand. And if I call your name, you can now, you can stand. Is that clear? Okay, so, what else? Okay, Miles? Very good. It, it talks about weather. So, it talks about weather. So, I will give you a great star. So our topic for today is related to weather. So let us all find out what is weather and what is our topic all about. So let's begin. So our topic for today is all about weather. So can you please read everyone? Weather. So, weather is the condition of our atmosphere. Now, what is our weather for today? See, see outside. All right. It is a fine day, right? It has the sun shines so bright. So, today is a fine day. So, that is a weather. One type of a weather. Now, so... It is very important for us to know the weather so that we will be able to know where we will be going or what activities we will practice in our daily lives or it can not be practiced so that we will be able to identify the activities that we will do if we can do it for that day or we can not do it, right? So, what if it is rainy day? So, you can't do work outside like you go bicycling. Else, our topic for the day is related to weather. It's all about weather. It's all about weather. So, I will... I have here a PowerPoint presentation and you will read... All together with me. 
All right, so let's read all together. The sun is shining bright. The sky is clear. There is no rain. So the sun is shining bright. The sun is shining bright. The sky is clear. There is no rain. So that means that the weather for today is fine. Like the weather for today, the sun is shining bright. The, the sky is clear and there is no rain. So the weather for the day is fine. So that is the first weather. The fine weather. Again, what, what we discuss? What is the first weather? Alright, Miles. Yes, it is fine weather. So I will give a nice start to Miles. So today is a fine weather. Again, the sun is shining bright. There is, the sky is clear and there is no rain. That is fine weather. Here, for you to understand clearly what is a fine, fine weather. So, I have an image here. So, the sun shines bright and you can hang your clothes outside. So, there is no rain. So, it is fine weather during sunny day. So, when you see sun, when you feel it is sunny day, it is called fine weather. Alright? So, everyone, if you wash your clothes, you ask, you are asked by your mother to hang your clothes outside, right? When, it is, when the weather is fine? Right, yes. You are asked by your parents to hang your clothes when the weather is fine or the sun sh sun shines bright all right so let's go to another type of weather so the clouds cover the big part of the sky occasional rain showers the wind blows gently so the clouds cover the big part of the sky when you see that there are when you see that the sky is covered with clouds and with occasional rain showers, there are a few drops of occasional rain showers, droplets, and the wind blows gently. The wind blows gently means that the wind, there is a presence of the wind, but just light, light only. So that weather is called a fair weather. For you to able to understand what is a fair weather, I have here a picture. So this is the fair weather. It is a fair, uh, again, let's read everyone. It is a fair weather when there are clouds in the sky. So when you see a lot of clouds covered in the sky, it is called a fair weather. Again, what is the next type of weather we discuss? You can raise your hand if you want to answer. All right, what is it? Yes, it is exactly, it is a fair weather. So I will give Miko a good job star. All right, so it is called a fair weather. When you see clouds, remember that when you see clouds, it is called a fair weather. Next type of weather. The sky is dark. The sun is covered with dark clouds. The wind is moderate. It may feel cold. So let us all read everyone. The sky is dark. The sun is covered with dark clouds. The wind is moderate. It may feel cold. So have you seen that the sky turns into dark? Yes? Oh, you observed that. So, the sun is covered with dark clouds. Amy, see this? With their own naked eyes? Yes. The wind is moderate. It may feel cold. So, the wind is, the wind is somehow cold. So, this weather is called a rainy weather. So, the sky is dark. The sun is covered with dark clouds and the wind is moderately low. Cold. It is cold or rainy weather. So I will have I will 
show you a picture of our rainy weather. So this is a rainy weather. So this past few days, we feel rainy weather, right? Yes, we feel cold every morning and every night. And then we feel the, the sky is always raining, right? Yes. So rainy weather has rained most of the day. So rainy weather, the past few days, we experienced this rainy weather. So what did you do, Miko, when, when it, in the past few days, what, will, what did you do? It is rainy day, right? What did you do? Yes, you just stayed at home. So, Miku, is, I will give Miku a great star. So, it is important to stay at home when it is rainy day, rainy weather. Or you can also wash yourselves on rain. When I was a kid, I also washed myself on rainy days. Yeah, so that is all about rainy weather. The next weather is there is lightning and thunder. The strong wind can destroy houses and buildings. Streets may be flooded due to heavy rains. So there is lightning and thunder. So there are th lightning and thunder. It's a very dangerous kind of weather. The strong wind can destroy houses and buildings. Oh, this, this weather is very dangerous. So we must be careful during stormy weather. Okay, is that clear everyone? So streets may be flooded due to heavy rains. Yes, have you watched uses? Yes, what have you seen? Very good. You see their houses that are flooded and flooded with water, water. And the houses are being destroyed, right? Yeah, so I will give may an incredible star so here mimi i will give you an incredible star so stormy weather so we must be all careful during stormy weather right is that clear okay so very good so the, so i will show you a picture of a stormy weather look at this the trees are swaying right there is a strong wind, right? So stormy weather has very dark clouds, strong winds, and heavy rain. So it is very important for us to stay with our parents and not to go outside the house when there is a stormy day, when there is a stormy weather. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, very good. So now, now, I will let you come here in front and recite the poem. The poem. Playing in the rain. So the title of the poem is Playing in the Rain. I will call um, Mary to come here in front and recite the poem. Alright? We will, we will recite together. Face your classmates. So let's start. Playing in the rain. It was raining hard. The trees were flooded. But Anna and Marie were outside playing. Don't play outside. Come here inside now, mother said. Anna and Marie did not obey their mother. They went on playing on the water. That night, mother stayed in the bed with Anna and Marie. I will call a doctor, father said. So... So, I will explain to you what, so you can now see it, Mary. So, I will explain to you what happened to Anna, Mar and Anna and Marie. It was raining hard. So, it was raining so hard. So, the streets were flooded. So, the streets are flooded with water. So, but Anna and Marie were outside playing. But Anna and Marie is still playing outside. So, Anna and Marie's mother called her daughters to come inside the house and don't and mother, the mother said that they are not allowed to play outside the house but Anna and Marie did not obey their mother so they went on playing in the water so that mother stayed in the bed with Anna and Marie so 
When they stayed at the bed, the mother said that I will call the doctor. My father said that I will call the doctor. So the father said that they will call the doctor. So what, what might happen to Anna and Marie? So let's see. So what happened to Anna and Marie? Please read, Nico. What happened to Anna and Marie? A. They had stomach ache. B. They had headache. C. They got sick. So what do you think? If you're playing outside when it's raining and it's flooded, what do you think you might get through that? All right, correct math. So C is the answer. So math is correct. Both Anna and Marie got sick. So I will give Mouse a wow star here, Mouse. All right, so next question. What would happen if they obey their mother? So what do you think, class, will happen to Anna and Marie if they obey, the, if, if, if they obey their mother? So A, please, can I read Mary the question and answer? So A, they would would not be sick b they had a headache c they would not be happy so what do you think will happen if they obey their mother very good ken so the answer is they would be not sick if they obey their mother so it is very important for us especially you pupils to to obey your mother because so that you won't be like Anna and Marie who got sick because they are disobeying their mother and in it, it is not a good attitude to disobey a mother, right? Okay, so I will give Ken a great job. So Ken, here is your great job. Next. So now, Now, I will show you the effects, please read everyone, the effects and precautionary measures. So, the effects and precautionary measures of different weathers. So, let's all read the first one. So, when it is sun, sunny day, when it is sun, day, so staying to under the sun use umbrella or hat to protect yourself from heat so when you when you observe that the sun is very bright and you think and you think it's so hot so you need to protect your skin or yourselves from the sun to avoid so much heat to your skin so you need to bring umbre umbrella or hat you need those things. Is that clear? Okay, very good. So next. So when there is a rain, so read this, Nico. So don't play under the rain or wait in the flood. You may get sick. So like how the Anna and Marie played on under the rain, so they both get sick. So it is very important not to play outside when there when it is raining because you might get any diseases from the rain or from the water you are playing with so it is important for us to just stay at home and or sleep we just sleep right yes so very good so next weather affects what we do during the day so weather also affects what we do during the day what do you think so why do we think so? So, when the weather is fine and sunny, we can do other activities. So, when the, so we are actually doing activities like playing basketball, planting, planting our garden, what else? Playing outside with, a, with your pets. What do you do? Very good. You, you play with your cats outside. What else? Um, you play badminton, so I will give K 
Ken, an incredible star. So, Ken is playing a badminton when it is a fine and sunny day. And that is good. Right? That is good. So, next. So, like this. Sunny and fair day. So, the things that we can do during sunny and fair day so we go on a picnic with our family so we go on a picnic or a family or family bonding right if it is not raining it is sunny and fair so next we hang clothes to dry so i oh i i am always asked by my mother to hang my clothes outside when when it is so sunny because it it, it is the sun the sun is really hot, that's why our clothes really get dry so fast. You too, feel me? Okay. Alright, so next. During a rainy day, we stay indoors. It is not good for children to go out. They will get wet in the rain. So during rainy day, do not please glass. Avoid going outside and please stay inside with your mother or just sleep or just study. What things that you can do inside your house? You can do many a lot of things without going outside when it is raining, right? So you must obey always your parents not to go outside. So you will get wet and when you get wet, you might get sick, right? like Anna and Marie, right? Yes, all right, next. So we play or study inside the house. So as what I've said, you can, you can also play inside your house or study inside your house, or you can help your mother do the household chores, right? Yes, very good. Who helped their mothers here doing their household chores? Okay, Miles, I will give incredible star for Miles. That's great, Miles. So, it is very important for us to help our mother, right? So, next, we use umbrella or raincoat if we need to go out. So, when, when you really need to go out or you were asked by your mother to buy something at the store, so it is very important, my dear students, to wear your raincoats or wear or bring your own umbrellas for you to not to get wet for you to avoid getting sick is that clear all right very good so next weather affects what we wear so weather also affects what we wear so what do you think weather affects what we wear so let us find out so during sunny day, we wear thin clothes to feel comfortable. We use umbrella or hat when the sun is very hot and bright. So during sunny day, it is very comfortable for us to wear to wear thin clothes, thin cloth clothes like this, thin cloth clothes. So when it's sunny day, it's not it's weird to wear jackets like that because. You might feel uncomfortable and you might sweat a lot if you do that so please class wear comfortable and thin clothes when you think that it is sunny day or when you see the sky that is sunny day and don't forget to bring your umbrella or hat when you go outside to protect yourselves from strong heat of the sun is that clear class very good so i will give Anna a very good star. So Anna, here is your very good star. So ne next, during rainy day, we use umbrella, raincoat, and boots to keep us from getting wet. We also wear thick clothes. So during rainy days, it is also important to bring your umbrellas, wear your raincoats and boots for your feet to to avoid the mud to, you know to avoid the mud or to keep us getting wet or we also wear thick clothes so we wear jackets for us to feel comfortable and for us to 
not feel so cold, right? So it is very important. This means for rainy days. So next, during stormy days, we use sweaters and jackets to keep our body warm. So stormy, this, this, this is another level of weather. So stormy, we use sweaters. So it is important for us to wear sweaters because it is a strong storm and jackets to keep our body warm because storm stormy seasons or weathers are very cold so it is important for us to feel comfortable that's why we need to wear sweaters for us to be to feel warm enough is it clear very good next weather affects what we eat so please read Nico. On warm day, fruits like watermelon and pineapple are refreshing to eat. Ice creams and other frozen foods can make us feel cool. So when it is warm, so have you noticed when it's summer, summer season, we also want to eat ice cream, halo halo, pineapple, mango float, like that because we want to feel, we want to feel cool inside because the weather is so hot that's why we need to be cool inside our body so that's why we are eating fruits like watermelon pineapple ice creams or any frozen foods that you eat that you eat right so juices coke like that so next read camille so hot soups and food rich in carbohydrates are good for cold weather. They are good sources of heat and energy. So hot soups and foods rich in carbohydrates are good for cold weather. So it is important to eat to eat hot soups, right? Like lugao, we call it lugao, right? So and foods with rich of carbohydrates to to feel energized during rainy days is that clear very good so next weather affects our health so weather affects our health why the our weather affects our health let us see so please read miles many people get sick when there is bad weather Exposure to cold weather can weaken the body. Flo floods make the surroundings very dirty. The water can carry waves. So many people get sick when it has a bad weather or too much, too much hotness, rainy days, storm. Floods can make surroundings very dirty. The water can carry also waste. Next, so cold. Read me cold. Cold. Cold people with colds have runny nose. They may find it difficult to breathe. So, when you have a cold, you felt difficult to breathe. So, for me, it is important for you to always drink warm water for you to feel relaxed and for you to not to feel difficult in breathing is that clear very good next flu or influenza flu is a contagious disease a person with flu has a runny nose sore throat fever and muscle pain so this is very very intense intense from cold so flu can you just this is this is this is now a disease running nose sore throat your throat is sore and you have fever and muscle pain so that is a sign that you have a flu right did you get class very good next diarrhea so it is a disease caused by dirty water Water must be boiled to make it safe for drinking. A person with diarrhea has loose watery stools that require more than three times a day. 
diarrhea diarrhea is caused of drinking dirty water so it is very important for us to drink the drink water that is that is not dirty or or if you want to make sure that you don't drink dirty waters you can also boil the water to to vanish all the bacteria on that water is it clear very good so now my dear pupils what is our lesson all about okay Nico yes it is all about the weather so I will give Nico an incredible star so what else what else do we discuss so also effects also effects and precautionary measures so I will give it a very good star so we discuss about the weather and the effects of weather to humans and the precautionary measures and how to deal with the different weathers so so what is the best thing to do when it is a fine weather so miles please stand yes you can go picnic with your family so i will give mass a great start so when it is a fine day so you can go outside you can play any kinds of play like volleyball badminton or you can go picnic with your family so how about fair day all right ken Yes, you can play basketball outside. So I will give Ken a wow star. So here is it Ken. So it is a, it, you are allowed to play basketball when it is a fine fair day. So how about rainy day? What will you do? Okay, Mary, please stand. Yes. So when it is rainy day, you are not allowed to go outside because you might get sick right so you what do you do inside your house yes you can do study or you can play inside your house or you can help your parents doing household chores so i will give mary an excellent star so mary yes here is your excellent star Lastly, stormy day. What will you do during stormy days? Okay, Nico. Yes, you are. Uh, you are asked to wear sweaters, and you are not allowed to go outside. You just stick with your parents. So, here is your excellent star, Nico. So, so you really understand our topic and lesson for today so now i will let you draw yourselves on on what will you do or what will you do do on the different types of weather you can choose any weather so you will write those on a short man paper your drawing you will draw yourselves on what will you do and after that you will explain in class why you draw this thing is that clear very good so i will give you five minutes to draw okay
done with your drawings. Very good. That's great. So, please present your drawings here and explain it. Okay.
Now, in order for me to know that you really understand our lesson for today, I will give you a quiz. So, the quiz is only one to five. So, the direction here is read and answer the following questions carefully. So, I will pass these questions to you and you answer it carefully. Is that clear? Very good. So, I will pass this. Are you all done? Alright, please pass your papers. Alright, so let us check your answers if it is correct or wrong. So, number one, it is the general condition of the atmosphere at any given time. So, who can answer? Please raise your hand. Nico, what is this? Yes, very good. It is atmosphere. I will give Nico very good start. Here is it, Nico. Next question. What kind of weather do we have if the sky is clear and there is no rain? So if the sky is clear and there is no rain, what weather is that? Okay, Miles. Yes, it is a fine weather. Next question. It is when there are clouds in the sky. When you notice there are clouds in the sky. Yes, Michi? Yes, it is a fair weather so it is a fair weather next question weather affects what we eat true or false yes it affects it is true it affects what we eat last question it is good to play under the rain and weight of the flood true or false it is good to play under the rain yes mary False, yes. You're correct, Mary. So the answer is false. For your assignment class, I will let you search on what are the things that we need to have during stormy days. Write your answers on short term paper. So you will search things that or equipments that you will have during stormy days. So that's it, and you will share it to the class on the, on the next day. Is that clear? So now let us all stand for the prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord as we pray. In the name of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we forgive those sins against us and not bring us to deliver us from evil. Amen. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So goodbye, class. So before you go out, can you pick up the pieces of papers under your chairs and arrange your chairs properly? Alright, thank you. And you can now go. So see you tomorrow. Class, see you.